What's up everyone, welcome to Workshop Rebuild. This is my channel where I take apart, clean and reassemble machines to make them fully functional again. In today's episode, I'll be working on this polar engine right here. This is a model K341AQS. Yes, that is a mouthful, but I'll leave it down below so you guys can find some information about this engine online. It is a one-cylinder engine rated at 16 horsepower, so it is a very highly rated one-cylinder engine and it runs on gas. If you guys know which tractor model I took this engine out of, please leave your guess down below and get the comments going. So the info that I have on this engine is next to nothing. Uh, I didn't know when it was running last. I don't know how it was running, I don't know why it was put away, and so on. I do know that it turns over by hand, which is a good thing, uh, so that means it's not seized. The carburetor is here, that's always a good thing. And there are some bits and pieces that are missing, but that won't be too hard to find since Kohler is a well-known engine manufacturer. So I think it's time to really dig into this engine now, start taking all the covers off on the outside, and then we're gonna be left with the engine block and then we'll go from there and see how the internals look like. So let's dig in. on some of the parts that are mounted around the engine and this is how the bare engine looks like currently. I still have the starter on here right now but I'll get to that very soon. The flywheel is exposed, the cylinder head, cylinder, the main block and the crankshaft on the side of the PTO clutch. Over here on the table I have most of the parts laid out. This is the flywheel guard, I have the engine mounting brackets, the muffler, the condenser, the PTO clutch, I have the oil dipstick tube, and most of the shrouds are in this area right here. There is quite a bit because this is an air-cooled engine, so you want all that forced air to go onto the cylinder and cylinder head to cool it properly. So enough talk, let's dig into the main block and see how the internals of this Kohler engine look like. Now, if you change it, you'll know how. 
Clean the cylinder wall around the perimeter with a steel wool. I like to use steel wool because it doesn't damage any surface. So I usually use the steel wool to clean the surface where the gasket will sit. And since the cylinder wall itself um, had a little bit of corrosion, it's nothing like pitting or anything like that. It was just a thin layer of buildup. So I took that away. Um, so when I push the piston up through the cylinder, um, it won't damage the rings because I believe the piston and the piston rings are still in perfect condition. So I don't want to damage that as I push it up and out. Now what I can look forward to is taking the connecting rod apart and pushing that piston up and out. After that, I'll take the crankshaft out and then last but not least, the camshaft. After that, we'll have everything out and I'll show you guys all the parts laid out here on the table.
So I got some parts disassembled and then I realized I didn't record the camshaft disassembly and the valves. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right here on the Kohler K341 AQS engine teardown. I will do the cleaning off camera so you guys don't get bored over there. I might share with you guys a video in the near future on how I clean my parts. So that might be a separate video. But for now, I'm gonna clean all these parts. Once everything is cleaned, I'll look into what I have to buy for this engine. And then after that, we can hopefully have a full rebuild video on this engine and get it up and running after that. So stay tuned.